different investors in the market take different bonds based on the risk and the future of the bond and one such bond which is highly famous among the investors are floating rate note or frn or floaters hello friends this is ganesh naik and i help finance professionals to enhance in their career and become a better version of themselves through a lot of training development and mentoring and i'm back with my capsule video on finance and today we are going to be talking about floating rate note what exactly they are how do they work and how and why companies issue frn the first question what exactly are these floating rate notes or floaters now floaters are primarily a debt instrument where the interest component is variable that means it is not fixed as compared to the fixed rated bond now since it is not fixed it is dependent on something now generally it is dependent on a benchmark rate now the benchmark rate can be your treasury rate it can be a federal fund rate it can be libor rate there are bonds also issued on other benchmark rate like hibor and mibor these notes are generally issued by financial institutions governments and sometimes by corporate and the majority of these notes are generally between 2 to 5 years now these notes have a reset period that means there is a particular date after which the rate of interest is going to change in that bond so if i am a holder of the of that bond of that floater then i would receive a different interest in a different period okay and that reset period can be very very different for different bonds for example it can be six monthly it can be annual or it can be quarterly also how exactly floating rate note is different from a fixed rate note now in a fixed rate bond the interest component is fixed throughout the life of the bond but in frn frn your interest component keeps on changing at the reset date okay now that makes a very very different behavior and that is why the cash flow of a floating rate note is very unconventional and unpredictable okay the next important point is in a floating rate note you will also find a cap and a floor which you will not find in a fixed rate bond what exactly is a cap cap is a maximum interest that you can earn in that floater i'll give you a very simple example suppose if i have purchased a floater with a cap of 8% if the benchmark rate in the market has gone above 8% i will still get maximum of 8% because that is the maximum ceiling that has been put on the floater similarly the floater can also have a floor that is a minimum rate so if i have a floater with a with a floor with a floor value of 3% and if the benchmark rate goes below it i'll still get 3% as an interest on that floater why would companies issue floater notes okay suppose if today is a scenario where the interest rates are very high okay and company wants to raise money for capital expansion if they issue a fixed rate bond the interest component is going to be fixed for the entire duration of the bond and that can be high costly because companies know that they will not be able to earn money over a period of time and the cash flow might not be fixed so if they are paying a high rate of cash then that would lead to a high payment of interest right so in that scenario the floating rate note becomes a best option for them that means if the market rate goes down i will have to pay interest very low as compared to the fixed rate note and that is a very very attractive feature for companies in in india and abroad to issue floating rate note and to raise money for their capital expansion so that's all for today for on with respect to floating rate note i hope you like the video and in case if there is any queries you can put it on the comment section till then stay safe stay safe and stay sound and we'll be coming up with more such exciting videos in the future